Hello everybody, welcome to another great episode of Hillbilly Select Reviews. I am in the midst of doing all kinds of Christmas beverages. As you know, I review everything that has anything to do with alcohol, and I even throw in coffee reviews every Sunday. Today is no exception. We are doing Hallmark, the red Christmas wine jingle. It is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, 2018. This is for 2020 when it was released. 2018 vintage. Alcohol is 13.9%. I have been doing after uh, Thanksgiving this year. I started my Christmas stuff. And I have a playlist which will be attached to this uh, video. Christmas slash holiday. And it has all the beers and the eggnogs and the wines and everything that has to do with uh, the holiday season. So, I also have one for Thanksgiving. I have one for um, all the holidays. Um, trick or treat, Halloween. So, um, check it out and enjoy. I make it easy to find stuff. I put these playlists together. Got them broken down real nice so you don't have to look all day through all these videos. You find the playlist and there it is. Once again, uh, before we get started, uh, Hallmark Channel's Countdown to Christmas is a cherished holiday tradition for millions across America. Our Cabernet warms your heart and serves as the perfect pairing with an original holiday movie. I did a white. I did Biltmore's Christmas white. Really. So the white was very soft understated not a lot of bold flavor I think this is going to be the same thing because if, if it's to be paired with a movie while you're watching a movie of course it would go with food and everything like that then I think it's going to be more mm, softer so you don't have to have the food you can sip it while watching uh, they hope uh, movie I'm going to see if it says um, what they want okay well they don't say what to pair with let's uh of course, red wine, you know what to pair it with, right? Eight dishes, certain cheeses, barbecue, do pizza, it's right? got to fatten the cheese and everything, soften the tannins up. So, while I'm doing this, take a moment to subscribe. Don't forget, you know, it's very important. Uh, cool, the wine says Hallmark Channel on it, on the cork. All right, I'll let you see it. No, you don't see because it's there. Look at that crystal clear hallmark in the wine collection. This has been stored in the garage, um, perfect temperature. It's an attached garage, never freezes or anything like that. But it gets nice and cool, nice like an old castle back in the day. Mm. Well, shall we look at it first? Grapey appearance? Uh, maybe on the camera. It looks uh, just red. Garnet. Just red. Right? Pretty red. Alright. A lot of cherry slash strawberry slash raspberry mix you may pick out one or all those and some chocolate in there let's give it a taste let's give it a taste a lot more tannin than I thought Hmm. Hmm. Very drying out the mouth. A lot of tannins, a lot of 
itchy uh, dryness. This would definitely go good with a little food. You're watching a movie and a little cheese tray, you've hit a homer. A nice pizza, you've hit a homer. You could sip it by itself, but I think it's a little rough. Now, what would help this is to pour it in a glass and leave for 15 minutes. Or if you have the canner, perfect. Pour it in the decanter, let it fan out, pour it a little rough, whatever. Let it sit 15 minutes and air out, and it'll soften those tannins a little bit. After that, the wine is actually a little thin. Um... You know, you get past that puckering taste of the tannin, and it's it's a, it's a thinner wine on the mouthfeel. But it does have the uh, flavors of the cherry, the chocolate, and a little bit of spice, actually. And as the tannins soften, and believe it or not, they're already uh, softening in the glass here. Of course, I'm making some air getting in. If you have one of those um, stoppers that you put on, that uh, or pours, I have one. I should yes, I start using it again. Um, that aerates it as it comes out. That would also help. Yeah, but once the um, the tannin subsides a little, get some air in there, and that air oxidizes it and starts um, softening up those tannins. Then you got another. It's a thin. It's kind of like the, the white was. So they made it to drink by itself with a movie, so it doesn't have a lot of power to go with food where it might be. It's more of a, of a, of a dainty wine to sip while you're watching a movie. I mean, that's what it was made for, and that's, that's what it is. So, I hope you enjoyed this Hallmark Channel, The Heart of Christmas Jingle Cabernet Sauvignon, put out in 2020, but the wine is from 2018's when it was bottled. And uh, thank you. Check out the playlist. Check out all my playlists. Most importantly, and it is very important that you subscribe. And I will do all the rest. So, that's the end of the video. And I will see you when on the next one. Don't forget.